Working in a word processor and copying and pasting into the control panel would seem to make a lot of sense for writing your content. You can use spell check and maybe a thesaurus and other built-in tools. Plus, there are a ton of different fonts. Now, this is doable. However, there are some considerations to keep in mind, as I'll show you in this tutorial. The issue is most word processors add their own unique formatting that ends up in the code you copied for the page. And unfortunately, web browsers often can't interpret the formatting, so they'll make their best guess, which often ends up creating odd spacing and strange characters on your website. There are a couple of very simple solutions, however. I'm going to add some text to my About Our Services page. So we'll assume you've logged into the control panel. Let's click on Standard Pages. We'll locate our page, slide over here, and click on Edit Page. And this is where I want to insert my text. Now I already have some copy in my word processor right here. I'm going to highlight and copy it into my clipboard. And you can use Control A to highlight it all and Control C to copy it. For pasting, if you're working in Google Chrome or Firefox without ad blocker, you can hold down the Shift key as you use Control V to paste as usual and that'll strip out all the formatting. It's Command Shift V on a Mac. Otherwise, you can open a plain text editor like Notepad, which you'll find on any Windows machine or any other stripped-down version. Let's paste the text here. You want to highlight it, of course, then copy it into your clipboard. And we're going to paste it into our Control Panel Edit window. Drop in our cursor, and there it is. It's also easy to use the formatting tools you'll see here, so let's go ahead. We're going to highlight this, and this time let's click on the B for bold right there. Now that helps a little bit. But we add a little bit more impact when we add a little color. So let's highlight it once again. Let's click on this icon and let's choose red. Let's really jazz this up. Just click on that, clear the highlighting, and there you go. Now, of course, you want to go down to the bottom of the page and save your changes when you're done. To view your results by refreshing the page, what you want to do, I keep mine open on an adjacent tab here, so we'll just click on this. You'll notice we don't show the new heading there or the new content. So I'm simply going to refresh and there it is. By the way, don't spend too much time formatting your document in the word processor as much of the text style changes, bolding, and such will be removed when you eventually paste it into the control panel. However, once it's there, you can use the editor's formatting tools to dress it up. In fact, as you go along, you may find you prefer doing the majority of your writing in the control panel editor directly. It may save you a lot of formatting frustration in the long run.